simply astounds me and it breaks my heart to see how few Christians want to hear the truth anymore. They want to listen to all the fake watered down garbage pail Christian websites, Christian YouTube channels, Christian Facebook pages <coughs> that just beg for your money and share, have catchy, fancy catchphrases, try to sell you mugs and t-shirts, etc., whatever. And um, all I can do is just keep putting the word out. And whoever watches, watches. Whoever doesn't, it'll be to their own eternal detriment because they're missing the truth. They're missing great stuff that God gives me. Not anything that I do. All glory goes to God, but they're missing out. And they'll regret it one day. But those who do watch, I'm thankful for because I know that I've got at least a few thousand people that I believe in my heart that will make it with me to heaven in the imminent rapture, catching away Harpazo, or if they die first, we'll go to heaven then because they stick with me and hear the truth from God's word that God gives me all glory to him. Praise the Lord. Donald Trump, um, quite the character. Not just Republicans now, <coughs> not just Democrats, but Republicans now, lots of them, senators, congressmen, and lots of world leaders, even Vladimir Putin, have come out and said they fear that Trump, Donald Trump is unstable mentally and that he may cause World War III. Now, I've said many times that the true World War III or the war to end all wars will be the Battle of Armageddon during the Tribulation, Great Tribulation. Now, there may be a World War III Part One, a mini version of that, where the U.S. is potentially destroyed. Maybe that's how the Great War of Babylon uh, prophecy gets fulfilled. Maybe the U.S. gets destroyed during a world war where... She's attacked by lots of countries. Because I'm telling you, as I've said before, if the U.S. attacks North Korea, then the fallout of the of the nukes will get to China, to Russia. I think they'll sit on their hands. They may launch on the U.S. North Korea may launch a retaliatory strike on the U.S. Iran may launch on us. Pakistan may launch on us. Any number of other countries. It would just wipe America off the map. And then... That would fulfill prophecy that America does not help Israel during any of her wars, either the Psalm 83 war or the Gog Magog war. And things are just happening so fast, happening lightning fast, right before our eyes. And I told you many times, I believe that God brought Donald Trump into the White House to improve not just the, the U.S. economy. He's improved it by 25% at least on the stock market since he's been in, in just several months. He's also improved the global economy where the scripture that says when Jesus told his disciples that people would be eating and drinking, marrying, giving in marriage, just like the days of Noah and the days of, of Sodom and Gomorrah, and then Jesus Christ will snatch away his bride. Blink your eyes. That's how fast it'll be. Snap your fingers. So I believe that Trump was brought in for that reason and or to potentially start a war to end America and set things up for the end times wars and the final war at Armageddon. Things are happening so quickly across this once great nation. They're happening like lightning, and people can't see the truth. It's just all falling apart. Look at the news. Look at all the signs. Every sign Jesus told his disciples in Matthew 24 and the entire Bible, all prophetic scripture is coming to pass right now. Was waiting for God to give the word. And if you're left behind from the imminent rapture, or of catching away, you'll be one of billions, with a, with a B, to die the most grotesque, awful, terrible, horrific deaths, about two-thirds of all human beings. And you, it'll just be gruesome. And most of you can take the mark of the beast because you won't refuse it because you don't want to die. You refuse God. You can't even serve Jesus Christ and God now and the Holy Spirit's here when, when he's gone. It's like a tiny room. Then how you do it then? Bad things are coming down the pike. There's no reason to go through that. There's no excuse for anyone to have to go through all that mess and that nightmare. Jesus Christ is there for you right now. He's your only hope. If you've never been saved or you're backslidden, pray the prayer. Do the six steps I have in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day without fail. True Christians, witness the prayer for the lost daily. It's your job. If you're not doing it, do it now. If you are, great. And look up our different north nigh. We fly soon. May God bless you. Share this video with everybody you possibly can because I'm being censored relentlessly across social media, especially YouTube. I know there's a lot of apathy. A lot of people don't want to hear the truth, but I'm also being censored because the devil definitely does not want the truth to get out. But again, I praise the Lord for all who hear the word for all who are saved through this ministry over the past almost decade with Facebook and, and this ministry combined. All glory goes to God, and I thank him for it. And God bless you. Share this.